Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to This Just In. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at one of the new SPACs that I'm buying. It's in a very cool, innovative, uh, you know, disruptive industry, and I think it's got a lot of opportunity long-term to do very well. So uh, let's jump right in. All right, guys, so first things first, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a licensed stockbroker. Uh, you should always do your own research and do your own due diligence. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, you know, I try to bring you the best possible research that I can, but always fact check me. Uh, before we get started, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you can stay up to date. I try to post new videos every day, uh, you know, of the, the stocks that do well for me, stocks that I'm buying, things like that. Uh, and then if the video brings you any value, please like it. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. Uh, and then and also there's a link down in the description to my Patreon account. Come join me over there. I'm doing uh, the first hundred subscribers for just a dollar. I actually got my, uh, my first one yesterday. Jonathan, if you're watching this, bro, thank you so much. You have no idea how much that means to me. Uh, your support is is everything. That's why I, that's why I do this. Uh, so so when you come to the Discord, uh, you'll get access to the private Discord where you can come talk with me and Jonathan. We've got some good information over there. Uh, you'll get links to all of my different portfolios so you can see exactly what I invest into. Uh, and then anytime I buy or sell a stock up to the second I do it, you will get notified for that. So um, then also take advantage of the Weeble link down below, set up an account, deposit a hundred bucks, you'll get some free stocks and then I get a free stock as well. So it helps support the channel. Um, but let's not waste any time. Let's jump in. So this, the, the SPAC that I'm going to be going over today is uh, is a very cool, uh, innovative company that is honestly uh, one of the first of its kind. Uh, I like investing in companies like this because it's it's you're investing in the future. I wasn't going to put this on the channel because it's it's a it's a risky play, uh, but I wanted to be transparent and show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Uh, so let's jump right in and take a look. So uh, the, the company we're talking about today is Atlas Crest. Uh, they are merging with Archer and their ticker symbol is ACIC. Uh, so, so Atlas Crest went public in October of 2020. Uh, Archer is a startup that went public in May of 2020. Um, the merger is going to be valued at $3.8 billion and post merger, they will have like 1.1 billion, uh, in cash to fund, you know, future growth and operations. Uh, what these guys do is they make a vertical takeoff and landing electric aircraft. Uh, they call the industry urban air mobility. Yeah. UAM. Uh, the, the industry is actually projected to be worth about a trillion dollars uh, and Morgan Stanley estimates that this industry will be worth 1.5 trillion, this electric aircraft industry, worth 1.5 trillion by 2040. So it's huge industry. Uh, and if these guys can capture a piece of that, I think they will do very well. Uh, the, the, the reason why I chose these guys uh, to invest in long term is because a I like the price where it's at today. It's a SPAC. Your downside's ten bucks. It's sitting around thirteen. Um, they've actually uh, got deliveries projected to start in 2024. So they're planning on starting their deliveries uh, in 2024. That's why it makes this play pretty risky because from now until 2024, there's no money flowing through the company except for pipe rounds and you know capital raises, which can make the stock go down. But uh, with that being said, they expect to generate 42 million in 2024. Uh, and then they uh, plan on scaling that revenue to right around 1 billion, right one, almost 1.1 billion in 2025. Uh, and then Archer expects their revenue to double in 2026 to 2.2 billion. And they plan to hit 12.3 billion uh, by 2030. So huge revenue growth there uh, right after they start making deliveries. I think they're looking at like 30 to 60% annual year over year uh, revenue growth, which is which is great. Uh, they actually expect to be cash free, uh, excuse me, free cash flow positive uh, by the fourth quarter of 2025. So, uh, you know, it will take them uh, almost two years to, you know, get cash flow positive, but a lot of companies operate in the negative much longer than that and trade at much higher multiples. Uh, for example, a lot of the EV companies are a great example of that. Uh, so I don't think that's too bad. 
they're going to have a lot of revenue catalysts. Uh, you know, they're they're planning on expanding into uh, a few different industries uh, with their original OEM model. They it's it, they're going to expand into like the military is going to you know use it, uh, emergency services, uh, cargo, business travel. Uh, you know, and then they plan on expanding out into the into Asia and the Middle East. They're expecting this uh, this you know vertical takeoff, vertical land uh, aircraft to be able to do 150 miles an hour for 60 miles straight, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, you know, could you imagine jumping in uh, one of these things, going straight up, you know, taking you clear across the city at 150 miles an hour? You'd get there in a few minutes. So uh, their their goal is to really fix uh, you know traffic problems. Uh, make travel more sustainable in cities. You know, I think it's it's by 2040. I think we're all going to be flying around in these things. Uh, this is actually the only urban air mobility company to have backing by uh, a major airline. Uh, so they their backers are United Airlines is one of their big backers. Uh, Mark Lohr, he is the former CEO of the Walmart e-commerce division, uh, which is which is great. You know, that's some real institutional backing there. Uh, United Airlines actually placed an order for $1 billion to buy 200 of them, 200 of their aircrafts, with an option to buy 100 more at $500 million. So they must, uh, you know, have a lot of faith in these guys. You know, their plan is to use them as air taxis to take people to and from the, the, the airport. Could you imagine not having to parking is horrible at airports could you imagine just jumping in one of these taxis cruising out landing you know walking straight up to your great your gate that'd be huge uh you know the airport is is horrible with stuff like that i think that would help out a ton um with that being said uh you know they've got um i think a lot of risk and volatility from now until 2024 because like i said there is no uh money flowing there is no deliveries there's nothing like that uh really you're you're betting on this company to have everything go right the merger to go through the merger to get confirmed they you know hit their delivery date on the of 2024 uh you know they're you're you're planning you're hoping that united airlines likes them uh but with that being said I, i'm i'm okay with that i am willing to invest in a company like this uh this early on because i think that the stock price is at a price that is minimizing the risk you know the bot the, the downside's 10 bucks if the merger doesn't go through it, uh, you know it's off well then you're gonna have to wait for them to either find another merger or take the you know the the 40 percent loss or 30 percent loss of where it's at right now uh and you know move on i don't think that'll happen i do think the merger will go through um i do like the price it's at right now especially looking at previous highs and so, uh, you know, again, I, like I said, I wasn't going to put this on the channel, but I wanted to be transparent and show you guys exactly what I'm doing. This is a risky play. I think the stock will be very volatile, uh, you know, in the next couple of years. Uh, but with that being said, I do think, do I think by the end of 2021, it's going to be more than $13? Absolutely. Uh, do I think by the end of 20, 2021, it'll get back up to its previous high of $17.58? Absolutely. Uh, you know, just to get back up to previous highs, you're looking at, you know, right around 40%. And so, so I am willing to roll the dice on that because I, I, I want to invest in innovation, uh, forward thinking companies, disruptive industries, so that I can look back when the stock is multiples of where it's at today and say, I was one of the, you know, first people to invest in that, or I invested that in that right when they came out. Uh, you know, that that's what I like to do. So I'm not a day-to-day, -day, you know, type trader on stuff like this. I do swing trade, I do day trade, but on stuff like this, I, I hold it, you know, I buy it and I throw it in a portfolio and I rarely look at it. Uh, you know, I guess that's a lie. I do look at it every day, but I, 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 I don't let it affect me when it, you know, sells off, I buy more. So, uh, you know, I will probably add a nice position uh, and then if it stays around this price, I will cost average in continuously. I think once we break this, uh, you know, 20 day moving average and 50 day moving average, it'll start to use that as support. And I, I, I do think it will start trending back up towards the upside. As you can see here, it came out, the merger was announced. It had a huge pop up, uh, you know, kind of traded sideways, gapped up again, uh, got all the way up to the previous high. I think it even touched like uh, 1859. Uh, and then, you know, the market has started having that big pullback. And so it came down, gapped all the way down to here uh, around 13 bucks. 
um, has kept trying to break that 50 day moving average, haven't, hasn't been able to do it. Uh, gapped up yesterday and I thought it was gonna, you know, I thought it was gonna do it. I thought it was gonna close above, but it didn't. Um, and today it's it's fighting it. I think, again, once it breaks these moving averages, I think that we will start seeing it trend up towards the upside. Um, but, but again, guys, you know, make sure you do your research on this. Don't just go out there and blindly buy it. I don't think that this, this is something that uh, you're gonna see it run up crazy multiples in the next, uh, you know, couple of months. I do think it will have some nice pops, but I do think it will be very volatile up and down. Uh, it will probably be pretty stomach churning uh, from now until 2024. So if that's not, you know, the type of stock that you want to invest in, or if you can't handle that, I would avoid this. Uh, again, I'm totally fine with it. I, I have a strong stomach. I've done a lot of research on this company. I think they will do very well. Uh, and, I, and I think that, you know, looking two, three, four, five years down the road, it's got a lot of opportunity to do very well. So uh, there's no other company in the world that has, you know, institutional backing like these guys for the urban air mobility company uh, or industry. And so with that, I feel, I feel good about it. I feel, uh, you know, confident that in the next 12 months, it will be higher than it is today. I think in the next 12 months, it'll be higher than its previous high. So uh, there, there's no way I could put a price target on it because I have no idea. You know, I have absolutely no idea where it will be. Uh, you know, in today's, you know, uh, day and age, what's been happening recently with these SPACs running up and trading at, you know, eight, nine, 10, 12 X, uh, their earnings, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know, you just have no idea what's, what can happen, but I do think that they will have, you know, enough cash to do some cool things. I do think that, uh, you know, they will be one of the first of its kind. Uh, there is other companies coming out and doing this. There is other companies that are in similar industries that are SPACs that are, that are going to reverse merger uh, in the same industry, but I do like these guys as one of, you know, kind of the early ones with good institutional backing. Uh, so that's it for today, guys. I wanted to keep the video really short, uh, just show you the, the the next SPAC that I'm investing in. I really like it. I think it's cool. Uh, you know, like I said, go out there and do your own research. If you if you have any uh, you know thoughts on this company, put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Uh, and then if you have any uh, ticker symbols you want me to cover, put them down in the comments. I'll, I'll definitely check them out and I'll definitely cover them if I think they're a good company. Uh, but then come join me at the Patreon. I'd love to have you over there. Um, and then, uh, you know, if the video brings you any value, remember to like it. it helps me out a ton. But uh, that's it for today, guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.